than what I suspected. Uh, I was right, actually. It's the fourth floor, so it's not the second floor. Uh, don't worry about um, the fourth floor thing because they have elevators here, so it means you don't have to climb like you know these flights of stairs continuously unless you feel like you know uh, wanting to get a small workout then this is quite all right um, and then for your location actually it might be quite nice to be a little more upstairs because uh, you get more of this gentle nice coastal breeze so this one is taken so 1420, this one is vacant, good to go. One bedroom with a den, top floor. Um, so here is your larger kitchen. Actually your, your little breakfast nook could be in there. And as it goes with the top floor, and this is to reduce the noise, as this is a wood frame construction building, so that means there's not much in the way of uh, reducing the noise um, so they don't want the downstairs neighbors to hear like you know anyone walking around on heels or stilettos and you know clack 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 so um, this is basically what you get a lot of carpet uh, I don't know how the dogs would feel with that of course this is an indication of a place and what is fun uh, you're next door to Pacific Life so and they're changing the windows. So my wife used to work here in this very building for well, quite a while until they moved her division to Elisa Viejo. Um, then here, well, Fashion Island Hotel. So you're basically in the middle of everything. If you go up the hill, uh, you end up at the mall. So that is the Fashion Island. What's Fashion Island is named for? There, over there, you see, you know, um, well, kind of like the outskirt office of, of Fashion Island in the parking. Uh, but that's how short of a walk it would be so going back indoors uh, just don't worry about you know looking at carpet and everything this is just more of an idea of space um, as well it's a one bedroom with a den um, I'll show you the one bedroom first so this is it it's just a one bedroom and a walk-in closet and then the patio is well um, the same same patio as from your living area and uh, so it's a little shaved off here uh, you could still park you know a large large bed in here what's good about this idea is like two small doors so that means if you have a wider bed or you have like side tables you're not just immediately obstructed by the one door that might just you know uh, be used for the closet itself so some features here like this is more like you know your uh, your uh, your racking um, and then the shelves this is super nice um, like just the drawers the shelves and then you can adjust everything so that means this is all going up and down and you know some rods here so we can basically just tailor this to your needs and then here's the hatch for or well, any utility company that might want to see uh, well, this is for the AC. So yes, this place does have AC uh, as it's newer, uh, definitely new enough to warrant that, that feature. So going back in, this is <coughs> a door, actually this is the, your, your uh, whole closet. And they left some stuff in there. I think that's from the former tenant. So this is left that toilet paper. I don't know why they did that. Um, then I'm looking for the laundry and I cannot find it. So anyway, so here's your one, uh, one out of one bathroom. So it's a large tub um, with, well, a bench, uh, but you know, why would you have a bench next, next to your bathtub? Anyway, so there's a toilet and then a single sink vanity. And then, oh, here, maybe it's here. I gotta put it here. This looks like it, yes. So, a uh, full size washer, uh, washer and dryer. So they're here. Um, and then this is your den. So this is, this is basically, well, it could be an office space. Luckily you can open this window. 
So it means, oh, oops, it was already open. So it means you get your fresh air and as you can probably see, like everything is wiggling a little bit. Today is a nice warm day, uh, but it doesn't feel warm at all. Like I'm sweating a little bit, but it's just not, not nearly as like, you know, humid and muggy as you might expect. Um, then here, your kitchen. So basically, you know, a lot of like shaker style fronts, uh, gas stove, uh, microwave, dishwash, and double sink. And then they put some new, new little, uh, little tools and toys here. This is actually your overflow for the dishwasher. I know I've been, uh, well, touring with a lot of people that were looking at it, and here's there the tube where it goes, um, because, uh, our current code says, and our local code says, that you cannot have just your uh, dishwasher drain directly into your uh, your sink or your drain, your main drain, without any feature, a security feature that prevents it from, like, well, the water just going back into the dishwasher when the drain is clogged. So um, they have a Nest thermostat. So um, so which is a good. Good feature. I won't run it right now. Uh, no need, but at least you know that it's there. So this is your well, your one bed, one bath with a loft. What I'll do, I'll walk back outside and then do a little, well, little mosey on down to the parking and my vehicle. And so here, this is what things look like. It's just very, you know, looks like you're at a like a piazza. You know, it's very Mediterranean in terms of setup. It's cute. Uh, I like the colors. You know, they got away from this nowadays with their white, gray, dark blue stuff. And you know, this is this is pretty refreshing. You know, it's, it's still cool to see because this is what I saw all over the place. Well, when I moved here in 2003. So actually, I'll take the elevator down. Um, no, actually, this is a trash room, so that means you don't need to really hold on to your trash all the time. It's a chute, so here's just one chute for your for your for your junk. Someone left some uh, styrofoam in here. I don't know why, um, but anyway, oops. Okay, I think I lost my opportunity. Okay, here we go, and then we'll go back. Uh, actually, upper garage and then I'll show you what the parking looks like going back to the vehicle and that should just wrap it up for colony and then I'll be driving to Santa Ana Avenue it's now um, 1245 so I should be there probably at 1 and um, so we have time to look around there and then go back to the bluffs.